Charles, why are the socialists pressing for a no confidence motion? Good morning. Uh, they're pressing for a no confidence motion because they see uh, an opportunity to put pressure on, on Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. Uh, yesterday we had news of these ferocious sentences handed down against former PP officials uh, for this corruption scam, uh, which has been around. Uh, the news about that has been around for a very long time, but it's flared up again, and the socialists are taking advantage of that uh, to, to press for a no confidence motion. Will they have any success? Um, that remains to be seen. It, it, I think we should also see the socialist ploy as a way of putting pressure on the Ciudadanos party. The Ciudadanos party has voted uh, for government legislation in Parliament. It's not an official ally, but it votes, uh, it votes on key legislation with the government. Uh, and this puts pressure on them too. They've been doing very well recently in the polls on the back of the, uh, the Catalan uh, independence um, uh, crisis and and this really puts pressure on them uh, to uh, to say where they stand on this on this uh, issue of corruption. Charles, over the last few days, a lot of people have talked to me about the fact that a kind of Spain is at one end of the spectrum and Italy is at the other end of the spectrum. The chaos that is reigning in Rome at the moment is not being replicated in other parts of the uh, of the periphery. Is that actually the reality here, or? Are we underestimating the potential for political problems in Spain? You mentioned Catalonia. We've also got this issue that you're talking about here. Kind of, are we underestimating the political problems that could come out of Madrid? Well, I, I think obviously we have to wait and see what happens. Uh, as I say, these corruption allegations, this corruption scandal has been around for a very long time and Rajoy has survived. He's still there. Uh, he's still there uh, in a minority government and, you know, passing legislation this week. Uh, he passed his budget with support from the Basque Nationalists, with support from Ciudadanos and other parties as well. I mean, he's still, he's still um, you know, an active, actively in government. Um, I, I think the, the, the issue really is, remains, you know, what, ha what is the long-term effect of, of, of this on him, on his own future uh, as, as, as Prime Minister, you know, with elections coming up in 2020. Um, uh, I think, you know, we have to, it remains to be seen the fallout of this latest flare-up of, uh, uh, you know, of a scandal which has been around for a very long time.